Hi guys, I am out at the farm, just taking my lunch break, and uh, I had thoughts again um, as I was riding around on the quad, herring horse poop, and um, I was thinking of the brain diagram. I'm going to try and include the picture in this video somehow. I was thinking of that brain diagram of left brain and right brain hemisphere. And uh, how that is the template to understanding all the obscure passages in the Bible. Um, really... Um, the um, the parables about Adam and Eve have to do with the brain hemispheres. Adam on the left, Eve on the right, the man on the right on the left, the woman on the right, um, the ego on the left, the soul on the right. You get the picture. And I was thinking about a particular Bible verse that says something like this. The Lord hates divorce or the putting away of the wife. And uh, I always wondered, well, you know, when I was a Christian and I tried to apply this parable to literal marriages, literal husbands and wives, and it has nothing to do with that. Um, and I was always wondering, well, why can't the woman put away the husband? Why is this all so male-oriented? And I'll tell you why, um, as we overlay the image and template of the brain onto this parable. The soul is the subconscious, is the right side of the brain, and it is more engaged in the dream world, dream state, creativity, uh, enjoyment, fun. Okay, that's the soul, that's Eve, that's the wife. She lives a submissive type of um, presence, whereas the husband is the leader, is the ego, is the doer, and the left brain is all about right and wrong, uh, the law, legalities, um, academic learning, study, um, that sort of thing, very logical. And so, usually, with the subconscious being suppressed, the woman that never speaks in church, basically, again, parable, the subconscious never speaks in the daytime, in church, in congregation. It's so always the husband, the left side, the ego, that speaks. That's yapping along in the marketplace, right? With other egos. That's the male, that's the masculine, that's the left brain, that's the ego. And um, as I was writing along this, this passage about the Lord hates divorce or the Lord hates putting away, <laughs> it just made makes so much sense to apply it to the brain hemispheres. The Lord being the whole consciousness, the Christ consciousness, the, the whole brain, right? The whole awareness, that's the Lord. The whole awareness or the Lord hates divorce, hates the separation 
of the, the wife from the husband. He hates the fact that ego acts alone, that the husband acts alone, that the left brain acts alone and separates itself from the right brain, the woman, the wife, the soul, right? Because that's what we see in society. That's what we have seen for the last uh, 6,000 years that are recorded as biblical history. Um, it's always been a, a patriarchal society with the man being dominant and the woman being shushed, kept low, kept quiet. The Lord hates divorce. The Lord hates the fact that the man always acts alone. Um, so the whole the, the whole brain consciousness wants us to live um, united in the sacred marriage of left and right brain, united with equal weight. And uh, so to recap, that is what the passage about the divorce is about. Do not divorce your ego from your soul. And uh, a friend was uh, um, kind of um, pointing out my ego again, not realizing it was their ego pointing out my ego um, as we were acting in the left brain, right? without consideration of the right brain, the input of the right brain. And uh, so we're always picking on the ego because the ego is the one that's predominant mo in most cases because it fulfills the role of fight or flight. Um, so ego is all we ever hear. The husband is all we ever hear. The man is all we ever hear. The man's voice, right? Uh, we need to uh, become mindful of that and bring in the right side of the brain, the intuitive side of the brain, and not just function on the logical side. One could say the Lord hates it when we only function from the logical side and never consult the heart. So does this make sense now? Are you going to stop divorcing your wife? Are you going to bring your wife, your soul, back into union, into whole brain living or Christ consciousness. When you look at the pictures of Jesus and of the saints with that golden halo around their head, that represents whole brain living. That represents whole brain consciousness. All right. Um, I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. It really... Uh, brought joy to my heart when I um, got the uh, intuitive understanding of it. It's quite fascinating. So, the diagram that I'm posting of the brain, when you read your Bible, use that to interpret every verse, because that's what the whole book is about. Adam and Eve, left brain and right brain, man 